morning. Today is day 104, or at least that's what we think. I'll have to check afterwards and correct it if it's wrong. Um, we slept at a shelter last night with quite a few other people and wished we would have pushed on our extra three to four miles um, where we originally had intended. It was pretty um, noisy and loud and didn't get full. much sleep. It was full. Yeah. <clears throat> shelter was full. We slept in the shelter, which mosquitoes weren't too bad. Um, but uh, yeah, all the tent areas were full too. We are at a um, park ranger station right now. Bad thing about New Jersey is the water, uh, is, man, there's not much water. Yeah, the small streams that are marked are all dry already. And uh, the large streams that have water are <clears throat> not that great. They look like iced tea when you put them in your cup. So, and some of these shelters don't have uh, water sources at all. And that's how it was at the one we stayed last night. So you gotta walk down the trail a ways and then take a side trail off and there's a spigot on this ranger station here, so you can fill your bottles up, so that's why we're here. Um, Mech shelter is like 12 something, and the shelter spacing is, is not great either. Um, I think tomorrow's are, it's either three uh, miles, five miles, or 40 miles, so. <clears throat> and they don't want you to stealth camp, but you really don't have an option. So I think we're gonna push past the 12 and, and find a stealth spot today, hoping for around close to 20. Um, so uh, we'll see how it goes. I think we're like four miles from the uh, New York border is where we're at this morning. So we'll take you along. We just crossed the Warwick Turnpike. Uh, probably hear the cars in the background yet. That's one of those uh, iconic spots on the AT. The Warwick Theater, it's a drive-in movie theater that uh, they have a grassy area and they allow you to, all uh, hikers to camp there in that grassy area and watch the movies for free, um, but it's a ways into the theater you got to get a shuttle both ways to get in and out <clears throat> and the other problem is the movies since it's a drive-in they don't start till <clears throat> 9 30 at night and we're all sleeping by then so but that is one thing a lot of hikers choose to do is go to the warwick drive-in and if we had a push we could have done it last night but didn't think it was worth the effort well just made it to new york I don't know, what is that, six states to go? New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine? I believe so. Yep, I think from New, uh, New York is 100 miles. So hopefully we can do that in six days. I don't know, we'll see. Connecticut's 40 miles, so we'll be able to knock some more states out pretty quick here, which is encouraging. Beautiful day today for hiking. Been up on a rocky ridge here for the last while, but yeah, it's a really pleasant day. It's supposed to get hot uh, 90s this weekend, so that's going to be tough. Uh, we're on top of Prospect Rock. We just uh, uh, sat down, took a break for a while. Um, yeah, I was mistaken yesterday. This is actually the point here where you can see the uh, skyline of New York City, not on top of uh, any, uh, Stairway to Heaven. So, still have a cloud bank way off in the distance, uh, so we're not able to see the skyline from here. But uh, there's a beautiful view up here. I think that's Glen Wood Lake, I think, down there.
I tell you, New York is no joke. It is just bouldering all day today. Tough climbing. Our next white blaze right up there in the top of the world. Just ate at the hot dog stand, uh, backed away, and now we're headed to the uh, Belleville Farms Creamery for ice cream. And these are both uh, like point one off the trail, so super handy. Well, we are in camp, finished up supper, and now we're hanging out in our tent because the mosquitoes are pretty bad tonight, and so it's delightful to be inside without any bugs swarming us. Um, we had mashed potatoes and spam for supper, which was good. I had fig newtons for dessert, and you had... Whatchamacallit. Okay. So we're just going to lay here and relax and rest and see if anybody shows up. We're stealth camping kind of by a creek, but there's quite a few area or spaces where tents could be set up and so like last night we had ended up with what eight people i think so surrounding the shelter so we'll see what happens tonight yeah we feel about as bad as we look right now <laughs> we were shooting for 20 today but man it was between the heat and uh the hiking conditions <clears throat> a lot of bouldering today a lot of hand over hand climbing it was fun but man it was tiring uh we did uh 17 5 and we were were beat uh, tomorrow was Saturday. Um, Saturday and Sunday is supposed to be in the 90s, so not looking forward to that. That this heat and humidity just drains you when you're hiking out here, and the mosquitoes are relentless. Uh, it's just what we got to endure right now, this time of the year. Um, didn't make it into New York today. I uh, had a lot of nice views today, and uh, I think we do we hit 1,400 tomorrow. I, either tomorrow or early Sunday morning. Yeah, we'll be close tomorrow to 1400. We so. want to try to make it the, there's a zoo that the trail goes right through, but this year the zoo is only open on Saturday and Sunday. So we want to try to um, push and get, so that we can get to the zoo by Sunday and actually walk through it instead of having to blue blaze around it. Yep. That was nice for lunch. Uh, we had a, a hot dog stand right on trail and then just like probably point one up is a creamery, uh, ice cream shop and stuff. So we went there as well. Uh, all through New York, it sounds like we can we can hit quite a few places like that. Uh, right close to the trail, we can eat at least one meal a day, which is nice. Nice to get something cold to drink and uh, um, hot to eat also. So, all right, I think that's it for the night. We'll uh, see you in the morning.